Ooh, good potato spin leak here, and my cords seem to have gotten tangled up. I'm dealing with that as we speak. And it's time to once again go through the case files of the origami killer. So let's look at the clues. Clues. Thank you. Well, well. Looks like there's something new. The video recording from near the park on the afternoon Sean Mars disappeared. I'm not I ready to look at that just yet. It, but you never know. It, it's definitely something worth watching, at the very least. Could, could we, um... Yeah. I'd rather... Okay, so we have the tire tracks. The orchids usually left on the body. It's fairly common. We have the origami pieces. There's only one origami store in the town. So yeah, I guess we're gonna have to look at this. Uh, let's analyze it. Looks like Chevrolet standard traffic. Model, corresponding to the tire prints, passed at 1602, heading for the park. When in the opposite direction at 1637. That could fit the time that Sean Mars disappeared. Could it be the killer's car? Can we pull the tag? That's the important thing. The registration is BAK967. So yeah, that's something highly traceable. Uh, pity we can't see the driver's face. It's a damn shame. But we can definitely geoanalyze and see who could potentially own this vehicle. And how many are owned within the city. The car was stolen. Let's see. A certain Jackson Neville was suspected of stealing it, but the charges were dropped. Not enough evidence. But it's definitely a lead. Let's go and geoanalyze. Yeah, of course. It wouldn't show us locations of owners. There's far too many people that could own that car within the city. But that individual is definitely someone we can look into. Is that all we have? Nah, here it is. There we go. We're gonna wanna look at this fucker. Okay, so Jackson it Neville, looks AKA like yeah. Mad Jack, involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles, considered to be very dangerous. Most likely armed. This all guy right. might have provided the killer with a car. It's a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now. And it's definitely something to go on. And it's better than wasting away high in a fucking hotel room. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in your It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. Don't! Shit! It's... It's coming! Tryptocaine. The tube is on the bedside table. All I need is to take some. No. Go away. No. Clear-headed. This is gonna kill me. I know I can resist. I just need to stay in control and, and do something until it goes away. Don't you fucking dare. <sighs> drink. Fucking drink. It's something. Okay, wash your fucking face. Wash your face. Try to calm down. Never should have fucking left you alone. Come on, look at yourself. You got this, you stupid fuck. You got this. You got it. Throw up in the toilet or something. Ooh, don't be geeking out on me. Don't nod off. Don't nod off. Fucking take it out. Something. Oh. Get out. Out of the room. Get away from it. Is 
so close. All I have to do is take it, and everything will be fine. It's getting farther and farther away. I, I am in withdrawal. If I resist, I'll get over it. Come on. Just be patient. I need it. I need it now. I need to get rid of it. It's the only way. I'm going to flush it down the toilet. Let's go back in. No. Sh uh, fucking flush it. Flush it. Flush it. Flush it. Fucking flush it. I need to get a grip. In the toilet. In the fucking toilet. Come on! Get out of here! We couldn't run from it, so we had to face it. Not your fucking proudest moment, is it? Maybe you'll take that into consideration in the future, you piece of shit. Scotty! Scott, you don't have a drug problem? Just your huffers. Mmm, hating your huffers. Ludwig Vaughn. I guess that's because I flawlessly paid the piano. Played the piano. Detox because I threw it away and didn't fucking take it! I'm talking about the trophies I just got. Damn. Manfred's Antiques. 11.10 a.m. 3.332 a.m. Oh my god, that's a lot of rain. It's getting rough. <laughs> Poor Sean. Oh. Manfred. Manfred. Who's Manfred? Anybody home? Hello? Hello? Oh, hey, what's up? Are you I Manfred? Who is it? Oh, hey, what's Scott. up? Scott Shelby. Do you remember me? Scott? Oh. This is Scott. Oh, yeah, of course. Well, good to see you. How long has it been? Oh, about ten years, I guess. Huh, ten years. At my age, time means nothing anymore. I I repair clocks, but I try to forget about time. It's an odd way of doing it. How about you? Are you still with the police? Fuck no, oh. retired. No, I quit. I'm a private investigator now. And he's uh, damn Ms. good Lord. at it. She's a she's a friend. Hello. Oh, hello, young lady. Don't mind her. She's a prostitute. Well, now back this, to the. This calls for a celebration. Okay, sure, but I'm I'm, I'm here for a reason. Wait there. I'm sure I, I saw a, a bottle of scotch around here somewhere. Ooh, scotch does sound good. Butterscotch. Think about some butterscotch. Nothing much changed here. Just the dust and the clocks ticking on and on. Uh. Nice to see Manfred again. Do an old Just like old time. Just like old time. Scott, tell him to call back this afternoon. Okay. Sure, no problem. Hello? Yeah, this is Manfred's. He's not available right now. Could you call back later this afternoon? Thanks. Alright. Nice and easy. What you playing with? Hope you're not fucking touching anything. Manfred keeps his place tidy except for the dust. Well. To old friends. And new problems. That's some good scotch. I'm thinking about but uh, Let me... Let's go and take another sip. I found a butterscotch that I want to have in a bit. Right here. Mmm, crinkling. Like it. Yes, it's beautiful. It's a Stradelli. Crafted in Venice in the 18th century. 
So, music box, just basically a knickknack. Tell me, Scott, what brings you back after all these years? I'd like you to have a look at an envelope. I thought maybe you could tell me about the typewriter that was used to type the address on it. Let's go ahead and grab it real quick. Yeah. Let's have a look. Now, could you pass me the uh, magnifying glass from behind the counter? Oh, sure, please? I'll get it. Yeah, no problem. Uh, here, let me go ahead and. Uh, it's right over here, right? Just looking for a spyglass. There we go. You know, this is a very relaxing shop to be in. I gotta say, the ticking, I find it really pleasant. Someone's probably annoyed by it right now, but nah, Thanks. I do like it. Well, let's see what this envelope has to How the fuck did you teleport over here? The Royal Five. And yes, the shape of the T's and the F's is typical of that model. Okay, so what we're looking at as far as the Royal Five goes. 1924. Is it rare? Is it common? What? No doubt about it. It's a Royal Five. So... These typewriters, are they rare? No, no, they're fairly common. Ah, shit. I'd say many folks have one gathering dust in an attic or in their cellar. So, everyone and their grandmother has probably three. Do you keep a record of all your clients? Oh, yes, indeed. Well, at least the ones who pay. No, that sounds about Any right. Any chance I could get a peek at that? Might narrow down the killer. I keep my account books in the office. Uh, if you're not in a hurry, I have a list of all the clients who ever bought a Royal Five or, or had one repaired. That would be lovely. Yeah, that would really help us out. Hmm. Delighted to help. I really like Manfred. Give me two minutes, and I'll be right back with the list. So, well, you want any scotch? Do you think the killer's been here? Probably. If he has a 1920s typewriter, he may have needed Manfred's services to get it fixed. We'll know when we get the list. It's a good chance. Quiet little shop, she's still playing with that fucking music box! Yeah, 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 it's bringing a smile to your face, the paint job's terrible. She just won't stop fucking smiling at it. Is it giving you a headache, Scott? Lauren thinks she's about to find the killer. I'm afraid she's gonna be disappointed. I don't know, it could always pan out, but something tells me it's never that easy. The killer's name might be in Manfred's papers. Could be. It's worth a look. It's been a while since Manfred went into his office. Has it? Let's take a look. Alright, then you're the boss. It's been a while since Manfred went into his office. Let's take a look. Oh, well, what are you doing going that way? Come on. Hello? Manfred! Hello? Your call is lost, sir. Oh! The police car will be there in a few minutes. I need to know who you are, sir. Sir? Hello? Well, shit. Manfred's dead. Oh my god. He's dead. Oh, god. What do we do now? Um, so, whoever did this phoned the police, it looks like. Because I doubt Manfred would have been calling them. Police have already been called. Killer has already called the police. I think he wants us to be a scapegoat. We've got to get the hell out of here. What do you mean? We have nothing to do with his death. We were just here when it happened. Look, we're running out of time to find Sean Mars. The last thing we need is 24 hours in a police station explaining this whole thing. You really well, think they're going to hold you for 24 we hours? Material witnesses are only detained for a minimal of a few hours, depending on the investigation. If they can't find the killer, they'll get your testimony and you'll be out. I'll get rid of our fingerprints from everything we touched since we came in. The fuck, Scott? The police are going to be here any minute. You know what? If that's what you feel, I guess that's the way we're doing things. Okay, so, uh... What are you doing, Lord? 
someone comes in, we're gonna be in trouble. These are Manfred's account books. He must have been looking for owners of royals when he was killed. Forget it. We gotta get out of here fast. No, just grab it and fucking take it. Scott, you're wasting time. Come on, let's clean the fingerprints. Okay, so the windowsill, we touched that. We touched this phone. Okay, so the music box, the music box, magnifying glass, scotch glass. Uh. Fuck, 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 fuck. Ah, fuck, 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 fuck. Uh, okay, so we definitely touched this. We didn't touch the bottle. No need to worry about that. We need to get the magnifying glass. Shit. Was that our glass or was that Manfred's? Okay, we'll get the other glass, just be sure. Alright, we need to get the phone behind the desk and we need to get that fucking music box. The ticking really isn't helping now. It used to be soothing. Now it's a harbinger of doom. In all honesty, it'll take him a while to respond, so I... I'm... I'm... Yeah, once I realize that, I've calmed down a good bit. I don't think they'll be arriving too soon, so I'm just gonna take it easy, chill out. Uh, we need to... Yeah, they're not that fast. Okay, so we need to get the doorknob. That's it. We're done. You get all the prints? Yeah, that should be all of them. I got what I got. It should be enough to prevent them from finding us. Come on, let's go. Well, we hope at least. The door's not a big concern. The biggest issue would be the actual materials inside the shop. I'm pretty sure I have everything narrowed down. We didn't touch the bottle, clean the bottle, would have left more prints than were initially on it. Uh, but the cup... We found, oh, we still got caught! So, you claim the victim was killed while you were in his shop. Yes, he went to get something in his office. A few minutes later, I went in to see if he was okay. That's when I found him. should have called the police immediately, Mr. Shelby. Would have saved us dragging your ass down here. The police had already been called. We had nothing to do with this murder. We were only there by coincidence. I just wanted to spare myself a few hours declaring I didn't see anything to a police officer. P.I. or not, Mr. Shelby, don't leave town. And if you end up next door to any more dead bodies, remember to call us. Okay. Fair of fucking enough. God damn, let me get out of here. They're gonna take a little while longer investigating Lauren, more than likely, so, uh, yeah. Well, well, Scott Shelby. In trouble again? Well, if it isn't Blake. Wrong time, wrong place. You know what it's like. Don't sweat. I'll take care of it. For old time's sake. Gotta love crooked cops. I owe you one. You want anything at the moment? Nah, nothing I'm willing to tell you, you piece of shit. Well, I got some ideas. Nothing concrete. Well, if it goes beyond the idea stage, you tell me about it, will you, Scott? Just can't fucking trust anyone. Where are we going? I'm Take taking your home. ass home. It's way too dangerous. No way. We we're partners, remember? We had a deal. Deal or not, that's it for the day. Listen, Lauren, I know you want to find the killer, but you're not helping me by putting yourself in danger. I'm not a child. Why are you putting this I off on her, making her seem like a distraction? Let's just be cold. Well, then you can find him without me. I refuse to be responsible for anything that goes wrong. Oh, so now you don't want to take the fucking responsibility, is that it, Scott? Stop the fucking car! Listen here, you crazy bitch! Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, 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 I did actually fucking... Fucking... 
Okay, it's not registering my fucking turns for some fucking reason. Jesus Christ, you're lucky no one was coming at us. Could have fucking killed us. Jesus! Okay, watch you stop. I thought she was angry. Such an idiot. I better catch up with her. You're making a lot of excuses there, buddy. This girl's stubborn as a mule. She doesn't let up, with or without me. I think you could probably respect that. It's all my fault. I should never have let her come with me. All right, what's exactly your fault? Big deal. I can't just leave her like that. She'd do anything to find the guy who killed her son. And you should respect that resolve, especially since she's given you some leads. Come on, man. Patch Laura. things up, deal with it. All right. Come on. Get out of the rain. Back in the car. Yeah, and I'm an asshole. I get it. Let's... Let's just get back in the car. Do anything to hold him once again in my arms. Well, you can always dig him up. No need to shelter. Not the kind of guy who hugs. I'm sorry. I, I shouldn't have talked to you like that. It's just that I wouldn't want to see you get hurt. More excuses, Shelby. You're frustrated. That's it. No need to take it out on her. Alright, what the fuck are we doing now? Oh! Thursday, 11.15 a.m. 3.366 inches. And we'll find out who's behind that door in the next episode. Like, comment, subscribe, keep on keeping on. I'll see you there, motherfuckers.